Alright guys, welcome back. Red Mist in the house once again. How are you doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. Here we go. We are doing really good guys. We are one game away from the King of the Ring. Look at how close this King of the Ring is guys. This is redonkulous. Really is. Look at this standings. As you can see, first place 35 to 9, second place 32 to 12, 30 to 14, 13 to 14, 30 to 14, 28 to 16, 28 to 16, 28 to 16. So close. 25 to 19, and then it drops off quite a bit. But the top nine, guys, is so, so close. If you're not keeping full energy, you're going to be knocked out. And the second that you don't keep full energy, you lose a game. Even with full energy, you lose a game. It's crazy. So, as we have a lot of energy, like as you can see, I didn't bother topping it up too much because I've been busy. I'm getting sorted out, ready to go. And we are going to be heading down to WWE tomorrow boys and girls so we've got to get a lot of stuff sorted out and ready to leave we're going to top up this hopefully we can get into excuse me hopefully we can get into the finals but i don't know i think i might get knocked out um just because i'm not going to be able to play too much but we have done it guys we have gone and proed our Randy Orton already we've put him on level 11 and we are not gonna level him up anymore just yet we're gonna leave him at level 11 until about two o'clock in the morning today Sunday um so two o'clock Monday morning 2 a.m um but guys we're doing really good in our PCC um I I done something a bit crazy I'm not going to lie, I've done something a bit crazy. I went and bought some more title matches. Um, just because of the fact of... We've managed to grind out 550, uh, 500... Sorry, 5,526 points. Now, that has put, still put me just inside the Zami Zayn zone. So, if we, can get, if we can stay in the Zami Zayn zone, I thought we might as well try and push. Because the points aren't racking up very high, guys. Um, I think Zami Zayn Zone is probably about 5 point... I want to say about 5.2k right now. So, I don't think he's... I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you've got sort of 6, 6.5k, you're guaranteed Zami. Um, or Sammy. Zami. Zami, Zami. Whatever. Um, but as you can see guys, it's really good. Um, this is the particular team I'm using right now. I have mixed it up a fair bit. I've put double divas in because a lot of people have that second good diva. We've changed out the tag teams. Now I've put gold dust in there just because he's a compatible. Um, but we're going to be replacing him out very soon. Once I've actually finished leveling up, uh, Kevin Owens, even though I'm not a big fan of Kevin Owens, I didn't realise he was a pro for me. Now, obviously I don't need Survivor Pros. I was going to train this guy into um, Randy Orton, uh, actually. And it was only because when I went into Combinables to check on Randy Orton's stats rather than looking for all my cards, I saw that Kevin, Owen, Kevin Owens was, a uh, was Combinable. Um, so I decided I was going to level him up. Now, he's only got a little bit of charisma left. The other Kevin Owens I've managed to already completely kit out. Um, and as I say, once he's done, um, I'm leveling him up because for right now, he's going to be better to tag with my Andre the Giant. So it is purely because of that. Um, at the moment, obviously, I'm using Heath Slater and Andre the Giant, and they're good enough to win. Um, oh, I knew I shouldn't have used Randy first. Oh, that's okay. We won. Um, obviously, them two are really good. They're good, good enough to beat two Survivor Event pros of any combination that people use. Um, so it doesn't matter what combination people use, whether it's a Cena Undertaker, 
or a Daniel Bryan Callisto. So whether it's like super crazy power or super crazy speed, they're good enough to win. Um, but if I can change out that Heath Slater for a Survivor Pro, which, to be honest, uh, Kevin Owens is the very first Survivor Pro down arrow that I've got. That's crazy. Um, considering that I managed to get like Neville and stuff from the RTG way back when, um, that's nuts. Uh, I he Kevin Owens was actually like one of my very first Survivor cards, and he's like one of the very last to have got proed. But yeah, anyway, he's going to help me out a little bit more than what Heath Slater helps me out in. The king of the ring so i'm gonna finish getting him proed up i'm gonna pro him i'm gonna level him up and then in the next king of the ring and there we go we got one more charisma game for him there um once the king of the ring is over hopefully i'm going to be able to get to the end and get us that elusive wrestlemania card which will be amazeballs but we don't know um what was I saying? Yeah, so obviously once that happens and we're finishing the King of the Ring, done and dusted, hunky-dory, done all them stuff and things, we'll pro we'll get uh, Kevin Owens into a tag team with Andre the Giant. We've got Randy Orton pro, so we're going to probably put Randy Orton into the other tag team with somebody. Now, I know I could probably put them both in the singles matches, but... We don't really want to run into that Andre the Giant with, say, Andre the Giant or Randy Orton. Especially, we, we really don't want to run into him with Randy Orton and lose that match. So, I'm going to try and play it a little bit... Wow. Um, I'm going to try and play it a little bit safer on the principle of... We're going to try and beef up the tag teams first. By beefing up the tag teams first, we've got a very good chance of winning. And in the late stages, if I need to, I can always pull both of them out of the tag matches and maybe throw away a tag team um, because of incompatibility and put them both in the singles matches. So there's going to be a lot of versatility in the setup if I put them both in tag matches. Now, I don't know about you guys... But how are you doing in your PCC? As you can see, I'm doing very, very good. Being a bit crazy, buying some more title matches, considering I'm not going to be able to play much today. Um, I just thought that I would take a bit of a gamble and possibly push for that Zami Zayn as soon as we've managed to get up so high. On top of that, it was also just like a secondary precaution because of the fact of not really being able to play I kind of just wanted to be in a good sort of position to not be knocked out of the Dolph Ziggler zone so it's kind of a double-edged sword here it's kind of like a more to secure my Dolph Ziggler but if I happen to manage to get that Zami Zayn I'm not going to be complaining. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, yeah, guys, put down in the comments where you where you are, how you're doing. I want to know, guys, and I really hope that you're going to have a good day. I'm going to have to go to get things sorted, get everything done and sorted out with all that good hot action and stuff and things, and we are going to be going to WWE. So... Keep an eye out because it's going to be a wild ride over the next couple of day days, guys. Hopefully, we're going to get some hot action and we're going to get some amazing little trick, uh, tips and tricks and who all that jazz. And good luck in the Team PCC if I don't see you before because that WrestleMania card is Christian, the legend of tag well, one of the legends of tag team wrestling you have to get christian guys because i want christian he's amazing he's awesome he is awesome so yeah guys anyway i'm gonna go so thanks very much for watching 
please go ham on that like, subscribe and share button. I really appreciate it if you've already hit the share button for me. Uh, sorry, the subscribe button for me, I mean. And I shall see you in the next video. Peace on the streets.